Video series part one, how I use Google Analytics for Zazzle. Case study, my Alma Africa store. My Alma Africa store is the seventh and final store I opened on Zazzle. I opened this store on October of 2019. However, it took me three months to land my first sale. My first sale was this Valentine's Day card so January 21st, 2020. My sales for 2020. I had 58 sales for 2020, averaging five a month. My sales for 2021. My sales slightly increased from 58 to 63 for 2021, still averaging five a month. This year, I want to do things differently. I want to bring Alma Africa up to the level of my main store, Miss Rody, with sales over 2,000 products a year. I know it is a lot to go from selling 63 products a year to over 2,000, but I know that it is possible. I will use Google Analytics to help me. So this is my Google Analytics data for my Alma Africa store starting August the 7th through yesterday, August 13th. So as you can see, I had 26 users for that week, and that's a 23.8% increase from last week. And users, um, that's the visitor to your site. The sessions has increased to 33. So that's basically a session is when a user or visitor visits your site and they click on different products and different pages in a session usually it, um, it doesn't extend past 30 minutes the bounce rate is going down which is a good thing so a bounce rate basically it means someone clicks on your page and then clicks off of it so they don't even navigate through your store or look at other products. They just click on and click off. And session duration is how long they their sessions are. So that's 30 seconds and that's decreasing, but I want that to increase. So what I what I like to do is I like to look at how do I acquire users and a lot of it is through direct. And when it says paid search, it's talking about the advertisement that Zelda puts out because I don't have any paid search. But most of it is direct. So people are coming in basically through my um, title, text, description, through the the things that I do to my page to bring customers in. However, they're not coming in through social media or other means. So that means that I need to increase my social media campaigns for this particular store if I want to draw in more customers. And this just talks about active users and how well you retain users. And this is something that I have to study more to see what that all actually means. It gives you a chart that lets you know when do your customers visit. So the dark blue is when you have the most visits. And as you can see, it's like 12 a.m., 2 a.m., 7 a.m. It, it's throughout the day. And sessions by country, where are my users from? Most of them are from the United States. And what are my top devices? My top device is almost split evenly with desktop being 51. 0.5% and mobile 48.5%.
And this is what I really like to pay attention to. What do your users visit? What pages? So this lets me know what is actually popular, like the popular pages, the, the popular products, basically. So what um, it lets me know is that I need to promote these products more and also create similar products or even create collections with that similar design. And something else that is, and this is for the last seven days, something else that I noticed that's interesting is one of my top pages is my store front. So I need to, you know, keep my storefront looking good and updating it from time to time. And my collections is also a page that people visit. So I need to add new collections and keep my collections up to date. So that's a brief overview of how I use users. Um, how I use Google Analytics to help my business. And I'll be doing more videos. This is just the first series about, you know, a brief overview and how I use it to help out with marketing. Okay, thank you and have a great day. Google Analytics. Like I explained in the video, I had 26 users last week. That is about four visitors a day. I want to increase this number. So I use the word users and vis visitors interchangeably. So it's, it's the same thing. One way I will increase the number of visitors to my store is by posting and sharing more products. I have to admit, because I have seven stores, most of them get neglected. So that's something I'm working on this year because um, looking back, I would not have created all those stores because I can only um, dedicate so much time to each store. So I noticed I haven't posted a new product for Alma Africa since July 24th. So that's one reason why I don't see a lot of traffic is because, because I have so many stores, some of them go neglected. One way I will achieve this goal of drawing in more traffic is by choosing a day to work on each store and committing an hour to that store. For example, I might choose Sunday to work on Armor Africa and dedicate at least one hour to it. Another way I can increase sales is by creating products that are like my best sellers. So that's what you want to do. If you have something in your store that's selling, create similar products. This product that you see to your right, which is wrapping paper, tiger stripes wrapping paper, had the most views last week, and it also sold for the first time. And I posted it April 13, 2020. So it took about two and a half years for it to sell. I will also promote it on Pinterest and make a collection showcasing similar items because when you include it in a collection, it may prompt customers to buy other products that look you know, similar to that. Summary, I use Google Analytics to see how many users I have per week and how they interact with my site. I also use Google Analytics to see what my most popular pages are on Zazzle so I can promote those products more, as well as making similar products. Thank you for watching and don't forget to share, like, comment, subscribe. Okay.